right, after finding absolutely nothing. Uh, let's see if uh, anything at the police headquarters will give us anything. Turn to Abyss HQ with the eye buff. I needed to talk to boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? <laughs> He's here. In the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. Same, Noah. One of the higher-ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. Hello again. Let's see each other again. What, this is the second time we visited? We're having good music, same. Let's get started. What's your name? Number 89. Fuck you! Your real name. I don't know, I forgot. Djibouti. Northeast Africa. Djibouti! A small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Why'd you call so secretary? Oh, you know about that. Yeah. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Okay. What'd you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. Literally, they're taking after Blizzard in every way, shape, and form. How many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Awesome. About Shoko's murder. All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? <laughs> That's right. Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. Of course not. Do I make it That's that obvious? Fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Well, here's what I mean. Oh. Oh. Is anybody going to do anything? You'll make a good hostage for me. What? Take me to the exit. Now. Oh my god. Literally, Ren. Fuck. Two point one billion dollars. Oh my god, the people are fucking insane, dude. Oh darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. Hey, Peter, you're gonna you need explain to get yourself. Nine back before then. Hey, Peter. What the fuck? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. 
He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. Five he minutes? This. You're rather calm about all this. I'm for coming real? down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. You're sus as fuck. Where is he? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. How fucking convenient. Where's my fucking gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to oh. you later. No, you'll give it to me now! Hey, boss. Sorry about that. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. I'm the one who has oh, to go yeah. apologize for sure. now. <sighs> we really messed up this time. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. Okay. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So he had an accomplice? Yes. Did you Someone see was, was waiting for him? I did. Who? Who was it? You and I know him well. Who? Rancho. No! Okay. Renju? Yeah. Date, Moma is calling. Moma? From the Kumakuras? I'll okay. connect him. Hey, Date. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Yeah, yeah, I deal. got it. What deal? With the ASIN! I'm not already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. What should we do? Gotta yeah, go get the information. Choice. We have to take her. To MoMA? Yes. You know, Dante keeps making these promises to people, and, and it's always involving the other person against their will having to do something for Dante. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> late, 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 late. You're late. You're late. Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? We're not married. No, of course not. You're drunk. I'm kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I got bitch slapped, Kara. I was we busy. Are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? <laughs> she sounds like Tiger. <laughs> late, 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 late. God, I'm hearing her in my head now. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> uh, we're going to a Yakuza I'm office building. I need you to come with me to an office. I'll have to inspect it, though. What? An insect show? I didn't know you were into that. Well, okay. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's cool. go to the insect show. Whatever. Whatever will make her believe it. She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have the time to care. Took Iris to the Kumakuras. So, where are the Azipteloprotocolas? What? <laughs> Tessa? <laughs> oh, is this guy the Azipteloprotocola? Not, I mean, <laughs> What are you actually? talking about? Oh. Sorry, are you the insect trainer? Go ahead, sorry for interrupting. Start the insect show now! 
We might be going to see eight-legged creatures, literally, dude. This is a gangster den. Took you long enough. Dante, you tricked me. Not really. I wasn't trying to trick you. You just misunderstood me. Exactly. But I wanted to see the bugs. I really did. Oh, so she likes insects as well. Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. <laughs> Want to hear about Renju? Yes. Mr. Okiura? Tell me. About the Renju tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Mm, I could. Hey, I held up my end. Don't you fucking pussy Irish out like now. You asked. Date, come here. What? Mama took me to the corner of the room. Date, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Just oh, ask her! Sure. Oh, and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh... He wants to see your boobs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't say that. Oh, sorry. What I meant was he wants to shake your hand. Oh my god! Oh, Dante! Sure. I would never show my boobs. <laughs> Iris took Mama's hand gently and shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. I don't like so how this. About it? I honestly oh, don't fuck with goes. this idea Renju concept that a Yakuza converted into a young 18 year old girl. First, sunfish right pocket. I, I made do capital. not fuck with it. Second, Akume Shrine. Sunfish pocket and Akume Shrine. Got it, thanks. No problem, bro, really. She would maybe show a date. That's an expensive looking ring. Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? <laughs> Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. <laughs> wait, 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 no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. Come on. Damn. It's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. You guys are a good team. Don't say like that. Siblings. Don't say that. She's going to get ideas. Whoops. I need to do that. You think so long? That may, that would make sense. So where are your two fucking goons? Think one and think two. They're out. Looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. What's up? Uh, about Renju. Oh, well, I thought I pressed it. What happened to Mr. Okiura? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. He did more than that. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Renju's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renji's phone. I found Aris's body in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. And earlier today, Renji fled with the prisoner, escaping a life sentence. Assassin name number 89. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Uh, don't worry about that. Well... Don't worry about it. Dante saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. Fuck! World. Come on! Never heard of it? Oh, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Momo's actually the smartest yeah, character. Explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I 
don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. Let's introduce you two. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24. What? Mama is lying. He is at least 48. I was about to say, if you're fucking 24, you are not. No, I'm 24. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? Is he stupid? <laughs> Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge Aset fan. Aset, you bet. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. Bet, debt, Aset. Worries. Uh, forget, fret, Aset. <laughs> now, what does she say? A set, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. Oh, isn't it? But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. Oh! <gasps> I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. You're a gangster, though. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> Let me apologize. Sorry for bringing you here. It's okay. You Is don't it? have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. About as contradictory as meatless beef. <laughs> Please. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> as contradictory as meatless beef. About as contradictory as meatless beef. <laughs> as contradictory as meatless beef. <laughs> Old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I <laughs> took <laughs> by with crystal clean. Crystal? Methamphetamines. <laughs> we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. No! Damn! Not like that! Uh -huh. Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? W what? Wait! Oh, why did I let You're you do your thing? Here? You'll be safe with him. No, no, she won't. <laughs> Are you serious? Look at his face. Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that. I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. See ya. Wait, <laughs> what about Shovel Forge? I told you, I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date. This was the date. Is this true? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Date, is this true? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Her late night visitor. Fine. Yay! Momoa is awesome! A clean gang? He puts the gun back oh, down! That's just a toy. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. I don't think we should, we but two places to check. Okay. <laughs> Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too, where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Oh. Can we eat somewhere? <laughs> sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh. Okay. 
My chest hurts. Getting hard to breathe. Let's go. I mean, we can go get something to eat at Matsushita, right? Well, maybe not at night. I'm so hungry. T Tessa? Oh. Why are you here? I should eat her. I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away. Ota flew into the kitchen. Iris watched him go and took a seat. Wait, I, I have to talk to Shit Eater first. You're good at cooking, huh? Yeah, my dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure, my treat, Date. Good. Smart kid. Fucking smart kid. Where's your mom? She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. Bullshit. He means sleeping. Well, that sounds more likely. Date, why are you with Tessa? Oh, you don't want to know that. <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. No! Oh, a date. Huh. A date? Investigate. <laughs> Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Huh. A date? <laughs> and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have a some date delicious with Dante. eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Or a date would date. You like some? No thanks. I'm fine. He's gonna poison your food, Date. Where's Renju? You're still looking for him? Yeah. Well, like I told you before, I don't know. Okay, that's that's great. Oda's cooking in the kitchen. Hello. So what's your usual? Omelette rice. Oh. Ota's omelette rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, I don't know. Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. Whatever helps the little kid out, I guess. Okay. About your resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold In it. whatever way they want to take it. What do you mean coming back to life? Uh... I decided to tell Oda about Iris' resurrection. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, you been here before? Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. Yeah. It's not true. No. Mom, she's just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Oh, God. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Yeah, us. Oda, we're a time traveler. <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> about hey, the parallel... Can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well... Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. What? Rock, paper, scissors? Okay. Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. Yeah. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What What if I win? Okay. I'll do anything. A anything? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Anything. Date, what? your heart rate is rapidly increasing. <laughs> Why exactly is that? It's all a right, Nishikoshi game this. after all. Yeah, if anyone's played okay, Dong and Rapa or anything like that. One, two, three, shoot! What should I throw out? Fuck. What 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 do I throw out, chat? <laughs> Boing. What do we counter with chat? Do we counter with rock? Do we counter with paper? Do we counter with scissors? This could be the most important decision of the entire game. 
This could be the most important decision of the entire game, chat. You, only you, only you can prevent forest fires, and only you can tell me what the fuck to do on this decision. <laughs> no, look at it up. <laughs> no, don't look it up. Don't look it up. <laughs> I need raw emotion in these answers. I need raw emotion in these answers. Choose any. Okay. Don't give us advice. <laughs> I don't know what the last say was that. Give me one second. One second. Know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Or the 100 million balls? If I explain that, would you well, believe 100 million me? balls? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. Shut up. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. I've heard people talking about it. Okay. The Boo Boo Kiki effect? Dante, look at this picture. I just pulled up a picture on her phone. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. Uh... I would say... Kiki is the, like, the floral one, and Booba is the, like, the pink one? Okay, I, I, that's what I would say. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged uh, one is Kiki. Oh, okay. Isn't that weird? Cool. In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. Gotcha. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. <laughs> with colors? What, what's K and pink? Well, I mean, there's pink at the end of the K, but like... I know, right, Long? Todd Davis was Bondo material. Hell yeah. Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what you like call the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. Okay. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But, but they're underground, connected underground. they're all connected. Yeah. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... The parallel world? Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. It's becoming he <laughs> Listen, we all need another one. We can... The more the merrier. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. Barely. The former president of South Africa. No one's talking to you, Oda. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. Yeah. It's when Having your memory and memory history have discrepancies. Okay. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a four-seater, too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail. I was just going to talk about the bears. It the bears. Nope, it's all yellow. And the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. 
Okay. What about the 100 million balls? This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? 100 million balls? Oh, what? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxy and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. Imagine a box full of ping pong balls. Hey, they that, that so counts, Kara. Million. That so counts. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. Huh? I may have underestimated her intelligence. Huh? Okay, we're just gonna skate by that one, huh? Alright, it's sitting in front of me. Cool. Shit eater. Anything left? A spatial temporal yeah, man? It's sort of like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. The spatial temporal man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. Okay. He tells them, This world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. In every conceivable way, Kara. I need to know the game now. Kara, you got a dish. What about others? So, this elementary school kid, let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. Okay. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it Fair on car. purpose or there was a Fair. thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. What about the two sisters? So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? Yeah. So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. Rude. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really going to let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. Mm. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? Yeah, I still about? play it from time she to time, Kara. with me. Not like he is really confused all the time, by all but this, of course. Seldomly. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. <laughs> What's up, Medine? What's up, Medine? Yeah. Nah, I ain't about that VTube life. I know there's a, there's VTubers out there and respect you what you do. I just uh, I don't want to be a VTuber. But that's pretty cool. I would not be shit eater here though. Sorry. Uh, the lost friend. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, oh, hell yeah. after Which school, season? they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Oh, okay. What? Is it like a rewatch, or are well, you watching it for the first time type down shit? Out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... Uh, more RPG a than anything long. Not really MMO. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his oh, eye sockets, good, and good, he's good. Just walking like nothing happened. So... Ah, oh, nice, nice. I think I'll like, really enjoy it. Hey, are you okay? 
your eyes fell it's, out. It's a little slow, but really it, it gets good. For it friend, gets good. You know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious, but he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. A says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this oh, class. Fuck are those eyes. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Oh. Uh... Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No. A was really serious about oh, cool. remembering Suzuki. Yeah, I think I heard people it talking on Twitter weird. about the new uh, no Genshin thing. And there's no way you pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Well, I guess not, but... When did you two get so knowledgeable? Literally. I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey. I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. If you want, we could talk about those. No, I'm good. Maybe next time. Thank you. Now where's that omelet rice? I was about Done. to say, can we eat? What about the dish over? He laid out an omelet rice in front of me and Iris. Iris grabbed her spoon with a huge smile Bonne on her appetite. face. She picked up a spoonful. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoonful. Huh? What? What happened? Huh? Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Oh, okay. Iris and I ate the omelet rice in near silence. There was no conversation. Just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it. For long. Ugh, thanks for the food. Iris was totally re-energized. Her face was back to her usual easy smile. That was good. Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. Where is your dad, by the way? We still have not seen the dad here. So Iris about that boob was so back in moments. <laughs> Let's get going, Iris. Maybe she'll be more in, in tune with herself. Thank you. Come back soon. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. 